Now I'm going to quickly show you how I handle the wireframing process. So I brought the sketch in just a few minutes ago and you literally can just drag pictures in or anything else in right into Figma. You literally just drag it in from your desktop or from wherever it's located. And in this app demonstration, it's pretty much going to be a contact app, pretty much an advanced version of a contact app. So I'm gonna start off by hitting A, which will get me my, my frames open over here. I'm gonna hit iPhone 11 Pro, which creates this frame. I'm gonna go in here and change that to wireframe because that's what we're about to make. Then in my wireframes, I usually like to work with this blue color. So I'm coming here in the fill and I'm, ch I'm changing the hexadecimal color to that color. You can just go in here and choose any color you want. But in, typically when I do wireframes, I like them to be blue because then it has that blueprint feel. And I'm using the sketch as a reference. I'm hitting O on my keyboard, which is a shortcut for the ellipse tool. And there, I just made an ellipse. I can click, makes 100 by 100. Or I can just drag like this and just make whatever size I want. So I'm gonna make 70 by 70 and then I'm gonna hit shift X which which inverts the foreground and the background and then I'm now I'm going in there and I'm changing it to pure white then I'm hitting T on my keyboard to create uh, to choose the text and I'm hitting and I'm just typing in name because that's gonna be people's names on top here I'm changing the color I'm coming over here in the color and the fill and I'm choosing white to have that white color I'm having them both selected by by holding shift and choosing name and choosing that so you could see here on the on the left side on the layers they are both being selected I could also choose them by holding it here and holding shift and now they're both selected then I'm holding command and hitting G so it makes a group if I hold option at the same time while clicking on the item it duplicates the item and I can just have a quick duplicate of it and if I'm holding shift and option at the same time I'm moving it. and you, and you could see here that I'm moving it a certain amount of pixels so I'm gonna put it 10 pixels away and I'm letting go now I'm hitting command D which duplicates my last action which is really, really useful. So I can I can make a bunch of these circles really, really quickly by doing it that way. Now I'm hitting L on my keyboard to just make a very, very fast line. And by default, it's black. And I'm just gonna change that to white here on the side. So now we have this white. We're coming along pretty good. Now I'm gonna take, I'm pressing T again to just type in contact. And I'm just coming here in the font and I'm just making the font bigger and I'm making it white. So that would be there. Actually, let's change that to contacts because it will be plural. I'm holding option, I'm duplicating it and I'm gonna just make it smaller, maybe like 12. And I'm just gonna put filters here, filters. Because there'll be a filters icon. Now I'm hitting R on my keyboard and I'm just making this box very fast. I'm hitting shift X to invert it. So that's gonna be a shortcut for people to be able to scroll through the contacts very fast. Now I'm holding option and just dragging that group that we made earlier. I'm actually gonna delete this name and I'm gonna take the contact and duplicate that and then make another one right below it. And I'm just gonna call, I'm just gonna say first name and the bottom one I was gonna say last name. What I'm doing is just copy pasting. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller, so I'm coming over here and changing that 20 to like a 12, something like that. And these don't have to be perfect. There's no alignment or nothing like that necessary. This is literally just very, very fast because this is just a wireframe. As I have all three items selected, I'm hitting Command G, so now they're grouped. Now I'm just holding Option and duplicating that group that we just made. And now I'm hitting Command D to duplicate the action we just did. We're almost done with this wireframe. Now I'm gonna take the filter and just copy that as well. And I'm gonna change that to add, right? Cause we're gonna have an add. I'm hitting O on my keyboard to make a little circle very fast and hitting command X to just invert that circle. And that's just gonna be a quick add uh, icon that's just gonna stay there floated. And very quickly, this is how I create wireframes. In the next video, I'll show you how I turn this wireframe into a high fidelity design. See you there.